Welcome back to another quick start tutorial for Exceed, a card fighting system from Level 99 Games. Continuing from our last video, let's take a look at a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how the game is played. And now, let's get back into the arena. This tutorial starts in the beginning of playing, right after setup. Before moving on to the walkthrough, let's first go over the two fighters we are using. Reese is a straightforward fighter who likes to rush his opponents down. His card's ability is, whenever Reese stuns an opponent, he may pay one gauge to gain advantage. His cards are designed towards him getting the advantage effects. Many of the cards allow him to move and gain power. Alice is a heavy hitter who awards players that play her optimally and take risks. Her normal ability is, when Alice's attack's maximum range is 3 or more, and her attack is at maximum range to an opponent, she has plus 2 power. Her cards allow her to ignore armor, is flexible in movement, and help her gains advantage. Each fighter begins with 30 life points and starts with a hand of 5 cards. The game begins with Reese. He uses the boost action and plays the normal attack cross. This is an instant boost effect that reads, advance up to 3 spaces. Reese advanced 3 spaces and is now on the space next to Alice. He then ends his action by drawing a card. It is Alice's turn and she also uses the boost action. She plays the sword and cross special attack. She will have to pay 2 force to use this boost. She discards 2 cards for 2 force. The sword and cross boost effect is stun immunity and plus 3 armor. This effect will be added to her next strike. This is a continuous boost and it will be discarded at the end of the next strike. She then draws a card at the end of her action. On his turn, Reese initiates a strike. Both Reese and Alice place a regular attack by placing a card face down. Both players reveal their attack and compare speed. Alice becomes the active player with a speed of 5 against Reese's speed of 4. Alice played the Bloody Baptism special attack card which has the before effect, retreat up to 2 spaces. She moves back 2 spaces. Her attack is in range, so she deals Reese 3 damage dropping his life points to 27. Since Reese's card did not have a guard, he becomes stunned and skips his attack. In cleanup, all players discard any boosts. Since Alan successfully hit this turn, her attack card is sent to the gauge area which she can spend for various effects later in the game. Since Reese initiated the strike, the turn passes to Alice and she will make her first action selection. Alice does the prepare action by drawing a card and then another card at the end of her action. Reese plays the continuous boost spike which gives him plus 1 armor and plus 3 guard for the next strike. He then draws a card. It is now Alice's turn and she chooses to strike. Both fighters make a regular attack after cards are revealed and Alice has the highest speed so she gets to go first. Alice played the dual blade rapture special attack which has a range of 3. She hits and activates the trigger effect, hit, plus 2 power if the opponent has more cards than you. However, Reese and Alice both have the same number of cards and the effect does not happen. She deals 5 damage, plus 2 more from her ability since she attacked at maximum range. Reese would take 7 damage, but his continuous boost gives him 1 armor reducing the damage he takes to 6. In total, his life points drops to 21. Alice finished off her attack by moving 1 space. It is now Reese's turn to attack and checks to see if he was stunned by the previous attack. His card, Gallant Defender, gives him 5 guard and his continuous boost he played previously adds 3 more guard. This brings up his total to 8 guard, enough to counterattack. First, his before trigger effect gives him plus 6 power for each stamina he has been dealt this strike, which brings up his power to 8. He closes in next to Alice. He is now in range and deals Alice 8 damage, reducing her life points down to 22. In cleanup, Reese discards his boost, and since both fighters did manage to successfully hit their opponent, each gain a gauge. Since Alice initiated this strike, it is Reese's turn. Reese chooses to prepare, and Alice chooses to prepare. It's Reese's turn. He plays Gauntlet Flurry as a boost, but he must play one force, so he discards one card from his hand. This boost has an instant effect which reads, draw three cards, then strike. 
Reese first draws three cards, then he initiates the strike. Though Reese used a boost, he does not draw a card at the end of this action because the strike has been made. Reese's tie guard is Gauntlet Flurry, which has a before trigger effect, close one space. He hits and gains advantage, which he will start at the next turn after the strike. He deals two damage to Alice, but she negates that damage with armor. Though Alice was not stunned during this strike, she does not attack due to her attack's effect. Alice's attack card, Guard, does not have a range or attack value. It does have the trigger effect, after, add this card to the gauge at the end of the strike, which she will do during cleanup. Reese uses the move action. He discards one ultra attack for two force and moves back two spaces. Alice uses another prepare action. Reese starts another strike. This time he lays down two cards for an EX attack. Alice makes a wild swing by blindly taking the top card from her deck and placing it as her attack. On reveal, Reese's EX attack, Sovereign Glory, is valid and he discards the extra copy. This attack is also an ultra attack and he discards his two gauge for its cost. However, Alice cannot pay for her ultra attack due to insufficient gauge. She discards it and does another wild swing. This time, it's a normal attack, Assault. Though both fighters are tied at a base speed of 5, in which the striker initiator wins ties, Reese happens to play an EX attack which adds 1 to power, speed, armor, and guard. In this case, Reese attacks first. His Sovereign Glory has, before, draw 2 cards. He hits and triggers, hit. Gain plus one power for each card you have more than the opponent. Alice has six cards, so Reese does not gain this effect. This deals Alice five damage, bringing her life down to 17 life points. She does not have any guard, so she is stunned. On Alice's turn, she plays the Focus Boost instant effect which reads, Name a normal attack and strike. The opponent must strike with that card, or reveal a hand without it. She chooses Assault. Reed does not reveal his hand, so he will have to play that card in the strike. Alice begins to strike, and both fighters lay down their attack cards. Alice made an EX attack, and gained stats for the 4 bonuses. Alice's speed is 9, and she goes first. The Soul Gazer card has a hit effect. Move one space and gain advantage. Alice's attack deals two damage to Reese. Her hit was successful, so she moves one space and gains advantage for the next turn. Reese is dealt two damage, reducing his life to 19 and becomes stunned. Alice gains a gauge and begins the next turn. Alice uses the Exceed action, discards a necessary gauge, and flips her character card. Her ability adds Attacks do not hit you when she is in maximum range of 3 or greater. She draws the cards afterwards. Reese uses the change card action by discarding 3 force worth of cards, a special attack worth 1 force point, and an altar attack worth 2 force points from his hand. With 3 force, he draws 3 cards from his deck. Alice wants to move 2 spaces by using the move action. She wants to bypass the opponent, so she needs to pay 2 force. She discards 3 cards worth 3 force. She moves a space to cross Reese and one more. Reese does the reshuffle action. He takes his discard pile and shuffles it back into his deck. Remember, this can only be done once per game. Alice uses the prepare action. Reese changes cards again. At the end of the action, he draws one card which brings up his hand size past the maximum limit of 7. Reese will have to discard one card. And Alice makes another strike. Alice goes first, and she retreats two spaces from her Bloody Baptisms before effect. At range 4, she makes a hit at her maximum range, dealing Reese a total of 5 damage, which reduces his life points to 14. Reese doesn't have guard, so he is stunned. During cleanup, Alice gains a gauge. The game will end when either the fighter runs out of cards to draw, or when the fighter life points reaches 0. And that concludes another tutorial for Exceed. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video. I love to hear your comments and questions, so go ahead and write below.
For more information on Exceed and other games from Level 99, you can visit their website at level99games.com. Once again, I'm the Carverge Stacker, thank you for watching this video, and keep on stacking games.